Danny Day's Homestead. I know a lot of you have seen Danny on various live streams of other channels and comments. She really gets around. I won't give you my whole life story, but let's just say I was um, redeemed <laughs> in 2017. I decided to go back to college in 2018 at a community college here in my hometown in Alabama. I was like, okay, Lord, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Because I had watched that video this morning and I had already, you know, I had already felt it on my heart. I've been praying about it for a while, but I'm like, I don't have a camera and all she this. She started her YouTube channel about eight months ago because she was really inspired by other channels who had jumped in with both feet and they were still managing home life and YouTube pretty well. So she tried it. She's participated in quite a few YouTube challenges. I just think that's and me. she hosts regular live streams to keep in touch with her community. <laughs> While the majority of her videos have a dedicated gardening, homesteading feel, Danny Day's homestead sometimes throws in a surprise or two. And even with song covers. So if you are into gardening, chickens and dogs, homestead challenges and more, do yourself a favor and check out Danny Day's Homestead. MVTV Montana Vigilante TV. Want to know what it's like to live where Zeke, the deer and the antelope play? <laughs> oh, and the rattlesnakes and paranormal neighbors too. An 1850s off-grid ranch is the launching pad for this Western hey, Adventures channel. Can you imagine them? Oh, yeah, well, we're going to have to prairie, but, dude, some of that grass is just too thick, so fuck it. It's got the generator on it, or whatever it is up there, the motor. Sometimes you'll see the news and trends, you know, unique to Montana, and sometimes it's the same flavors you see everywhere, but with an interesting western flair. Ha! <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> Since he's only been at this homestead for a couple of months, there's a lot of exploring and uncovering to be done. When the homesteading and paranormal are resting on MBTV Montana Vigilante TV, we uncover biographies of some pretty interesting individuals. Did I mention he's a writer? So if you're into Western themes, paranormal news, and lots of exploring, Check out MBTV, Montana Vigilante TV. Sheena's Ketovore Life. All right, what the heck is a Ketovore? Thank you for being here. I want to help people reach their goal. I've been doing Keto Carnivore for three years. I went from 330 pounds. Ketovore is the hybrid spawn of the carnivore meat-based diets backseat date with the keto macro diet ratios and eventually i'm going to get to hopefully where i won't have to see the doctor um people don't realize you know as much as i've seen and i haven't had a vacation in eight years like golly you know just one pound here one this pound lifestyle here. was adopted well, as the best choice for chronic overnight. illness it's certainly not going to come off Overnight. Container gardening has its pros and cons, and gardening in large tubs is pretty much the same, just on a little larger scale. Sheena's Ketovore Life shares the joys and the trials of living with autoimmune disease and the Ketovore lifestyle, including what meals are like. So if you are interested in the Ketovore concept or even tub gardening, check out Sheena's Ketovore Life. Homesteading Danny style, Montana trends, exploring the Wild West, and paranormal content. Ketovore and tub gardening. Are these your people?